How you guys doing out there, man? How you guys doing, Saints? We're right here with another one, man. In an uncomfortable zone. So, right now, we're going to start by praying real quick before before the word goes away. Father God, we bind any wicked spirit, Father God, of distraction and confusion, Father God, are all around us in the name of Jesus, Father God. And we plead the blood, Father God. Those that need to receive the word, Father God, including me, Father God, feed us with the Holy Spirit, Father God. And don't let it be emotions, Father God, but let it be the Holy Spirit, Father God, that will guide us, Father God, to get through this beautiful night full of your glory and mercy, Father God. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. How you guys doing today? I just want to give a quick word. It's coming out of Proverbs 23, verse 7. And... I was like, I was earlier, I got it this morning when I was working out early in the morning. And it, it was coming out of Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. And the Lord kept saying to check my heart, man, to check my thinking. And and and, and we're going to read the word. Father God, thank you. We read the word in the name of the Father, the Spirit, and the Holy Ghost. It says, for he that thinketh in his heart, so is he, eat and drink. Said he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Now I have a thought that I want that I wrote down. You see, we constantly gotta keep guarding and monitoring our thoughts. The true source of mind is not the heart, it's our minds. You see, our hearts is just a pumping vessel with arteries. Each artery and veins are channels, a room within an era we all need to improve as believers of Jesus Christ and practitioners and disciples of Jesus Christ. We must try hard to establish healthy boundaries when idle thoughts begin to surge, bombarding our minds and take authority and control in Jesus' name. And plead the blood, let us remember that we, what we bound in the heavens might also be bound on earth in Jesus' name. Matthew 18, verse 18. Now, let us also remember in Romans 12, 12, 12, excuse me, chapter 12, verse 2, the renewal of the mind is daily. For as a person he thinks in his heart, so is he, Proverbs 23, 7. It says, for he that think in his heart, so is he. Whatever we think at the moment, whether it's good, everything we already know, everything good comes from the Lord. So if our minds keep entertaining idle thoughts it, we will become that because we project that out in the uh, in the atmosphere it says in the word it says that for every idle word we will be judged and measured so now it's interesting it says for he that thinketh in his heart so is he eat and drink saith he to thee but his heart is not with thee there's a lot of the people that we either, whether we enter, connect with other believers in the church, we could eat with them and drink with them, but our minds might not be with the Lord. Not everybody that we break bread or we call brothers are genuinely, sincerely intact with the creator, with Jesus Christ, our rock and, and our foundation. So we have to be very careful. You, we also know that bad communication corrupts good manners. So we really have to be guarding our thinking because our thinking in our heart is idle. So I read again. You see, we constantly got to keep guarding and monitoring our thoughts because our hearts is still flesh. So our hearts could be deceptive and they're full. They could be full of emotions. It varies. The see the Holy Spirit helps us to monitor our emotions whether they're good or bad so if we're going through any type of depression or any type of whatever we might be going through that is not of the lord we have to take authority in jesus name to cast out and we have to project it in authority which comes from the blood of jesus now our, our minds could be bombarding and take authority control in the name of jesus in the blood. Let us also remember Romans 12, 2, the renewal of our mind is daily. For as a person, for as a person he thinks in his heart, so is he. A person, a person is what goes through his mind, what he allows him to do, all the decisions that he makes. 
So we have to be very cautious of what we think. Because if we can't, we, 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 we got flesh. So it's gonna be time, a lot of times. It's, this is daily. We have to battle, but we have to try to stay in the Holy Spirit in order for us to come out in victory. Because the enemy cannot read your thoughts, but he's a good examiner and a good observer. So whether we can either be in the gym, or wherever, not just the gym, it could be at a, a institution, school, whatever. We got to be aware of the seducing spirits all around us. It all starts within us. Are we going to entertain it or are we going to keep pondering on it? And that could be perilous within our walk. Now, I'm going to switch it to, uh, to Spanish. It says, Estaba explicando, hermanos, de que Hoy me había dado algo el Señor en el nombre de Jesús en la mañana y um, está en Proverbios 4, 23, versículo, versículo 7, dice, Veo, hermanos y hermanos, constantemente que tenemos que guardar vuestros pensamientos. La verdadera fuerte del corazón es la mente. El corazón es solamente un pálpito que late y cada arteria y cada canal es un área para mejorar con deliberación continua en victoria con Cristo Jesús, que es la fundación el centro y el núcleo central de nuestro templo que es el cuerpo en uno mismo, que mora en vosotros mismos en sinfonía interconectados con el Espíritu Santo. Ahora, si vamos a la Escritura, dice, por lo cual en su pensamiento es su corazón, tal es él. Como co come y bebe, te dirá, mas tu corazón no está conmigo. Podemos estar en vigilia, podemos estar comiendo con un presuntamente hermano o hermana y nuestro corazón no está interconectado con el Espíritu Santo. Podemos estar ahí presentes, pero nuestro espíritu está ausente. So tenemos que tener mucha precaución de, de nuestro pensar, examinar, guardar nuestro pensamiento, porque lo que pensamos lo proyectamos en el aire. El enemigo es un gran observador. No puede leer la mente, pero puede observar. So, tenemos que tener mucha precaución, especialmente cuando estamos en un gimnasio, que estamos lidiando con diferentes espíritus. Puede ser espíritu de seducción, puede ser el espíritu de fornicación, adicción. ¿Qué dice la palabra del Señor? Que mala, mala comunicación proyecta que mal, ma, malos hábitos. So uno que uno tenemos que tener mucha precaución cómo guardamos nuestros pensamientos y examinarnos. Ahora dice, eh, la renovación es diaria y la oración tiene que ser sin censar. La palabra claramente la dice en Primera de Tenonicenses, capítulo 5, versículo del 16 al 18. Estar siempre gozosos, orar sin rezar. Dar gracias en todo. Tenemos que orar y reprender en la mente. Porque este mundo le pertenece al enemigo. Y está cubierta con la sangre de Jesucristo. La, como lo estaba eh, discutiendo en un video anterior. La gente teme lo que no comprende. So, tenemos que estar muy cautivos. Y tenemos que estar en guerra aquí. Re, eh, reprendiendo al enemigo. Ahora dice hermanos. Denme un momento. Podemos, como le estamos diciendo, es interesante, dice, por lo cual es su pensamiento en su, en su corazón tal es, como come y bebe, te dirá. Pues, so, te, te, pues, podemos estar diciéndolo, hermano, comiendo, bebiendo, te dirá el hermano, oye, las escrituras están muy bueno, Dios es amor, mas su corazón no está contigo, no está con él. Si nuestro, si nuestro corazón está con el Padre, está, está aquí, se puede sentir, hermano. So, no todos los que estamos en convivo, nuestra mente y alma está conectada porque nuestra mente es deceptiva. Y, y, y nuestro corazón, como lo, estaba, lo vuelvo a leer, hermanos, denme un momento y lo comparto de nuevo. Veo, hermanos y hermanas, constante que tenemos que guardar vuestros pensamientos. La verdadera fuente del corazón es la mente. 
El corazón es solamente un pálpito que late y cada arteria y canal es un área para mejorar con deliberación continua en victoria con Cristo Jesús. Es todo lo que tenía que compartir, hermanos. Espero que les sirva de bendición y hay que seguir orando por todos nosotros, men, por todo el cuerpo de Jesús, men. Y antes de, antes de terminar, hermanos, estaba en el culto la otra vez y una hermana dijo un punto muy, muy que lo, yo lo tomé en mi, en mi caminar personal, que muchos asistimos a cultos donde hay pura gloria, que es bueno y, 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 y estamos en júbilo. Pero es importante atender al culto de oración, porque ahí es donde existe la deliberación. So, hermanos, or, hay que orar por nosotros y espero que les sirva de bendición y el Señor les bendiga.